Well, you know, it's Wednesday. I'd really like to have a glass of wine with me, but I have procrastinated all month doing this. Well, actually last month too. I'm pretty good at procrastinating. Yeah, that's, you know, everybody's got to be good at something. That's what I'm good at, procrastinating. But anyway, I'm going to try to figure out how to do a wellness planner. What I think think I need in there to kind of keep track of what I need to to get myself back in a healthy place and um, yeah so welcome to uh, Wellness Wednesday hi everyone I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel also known as the procrastination channel yeah, instead of doing this video, I started to get everything ready that I needed to have in front of me. And you know what I decided to do instead? I decided to play in my sock drawer. I know, I haven't worn regular socks since maybe last summer. I've just been wearing my, uh, my slippers or whatever, you know, the kind of fuzzy little booties, things like that. Yeah, I'm good at procrastinating. That's because I really don't know what I need to do and how to start. So instead of just kind of delving into it and figuring out as I go along, I just kept procrastinating. But you know what? I want to do this. Another month has almost gone by and I still haven't figured it out. So I thought I would start today and hopefully maybe some of you will have some ideas for me. But anyway, in case I didn't say it, I'm Nancy. Welcome. I am so excited that you guys are here. It means so much to me that you guys are able to spend a few minutes of your day. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you would please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Your comments are really going to be helpful this time. If anyone's done this kind of a journey, I'm just looking to see what's the important things that I should be kind of tracking. I still do not have authorization or validation from my uh, doctor to get into any fitness activity. But you know what? It's been it's been like a year and a half or whatever. It's It's been a while. And my numbers are just, they're not getting better. And I'm just going to try to go for it. Uh, keep some moderation intact so I don't overdo it. Um, and just see what uh, little steps I can do to kind of keep things going in the healthy direction. But anyway, speaking of, you know, Nancy the Procrastinator. Yeah. So anyway, I got this card a few days ago. Actually, I did get it before. Um valentine's day and it's a card from wendy jean so she's got some nice stickers here she's got some stickers on the back that i kind of destroyed the envelope to get into it so anyway thank you so much wendy jean i will leave wendy jean a link below oh my gosh she is such an awesome lady her channel is growing so fast she does unboxings and collabs and she's just a really a fun sweet lady so anyway this is Whoops. This is the card. May your Valentine's Day be especially blessed. It's a really beautiful card here. It's got like sparkles and things on the heart right there. So it's really, really pretty. And some things fell out. So let's open it carefully. And we've got some foiled heart goodies in here. So thank you so much, Wendy Jean. So it says, with all that makes you happiest. Happy hot day. Blessings, Wendy Jean. So thank you so much, Wendy. I really, really appreciate this. And again, I'm going to have Wendy link below. You are going to love her. Next, and I won a giveaway from Miss Jackie Russell. So she did send it by certified mail, which I thought they were supposed to come to the door and uh, have you sign for certified mail. But my mailman... He's very lazy. He just put it in my mailbox. So I saw him on a Sunday go to my mailbox and I thought, well, that's weird. Why are they delivering on a Sunday? So I went out to my box and there it was. Yeah, I was sitting right in my office working and yeah, it's not weird. But anyway, thanks, Miss Jackie Russell. Whoops. And on the back, I appreciate you. Have a blessed day. 
And if you don't know Miss Jackie Russell, oh my gosh, she calls herself Jackie Russell because she she breeds puppies and I think at one time she did Jack Russell Terriers, but she does some other little teacup puppies and some other puppies. She's just an amazing lady. She does so many different types of unboxings and collabs. And if there's a box out there, Miss Jackie Russell, she's unboxing it for us. So if anytime you're looking to, gee, I, you know, I'm tired of the boxes I'm getting, or I just need something different to kind of spark up my life, check out Miss Jackie Russell, see the different boxes that are out there, and just have a blast. She's an awesome, awesome lady. She recently had an over 1,000K uh, giveaway for her subs. So congratulations on your growing channel as well. And so she gave up, <coughs> excuse me, a couple of gifts. And I actually won the Amazon gift card. So I was so excited. But anyway, the inside of her card, she's got some really cute stickers, sparkly stickers. And hi, Nancy. Thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. Enjoy your goodies. Congratulations on your win of the $100 Amazon card. Happy shopping. 1K was a big milestone, and I am glad that you are a part of it. XO, XO, your friend, Miss Jackie Russell. So anyway, I hope that you check out Miss Jackie. She has got, like I said, some awesome, awesome unboxings and boxes that you've probably never heard of. But if there's a box out there, she has it. Alrighty. Have I procrastinated long enough to figure out what I'm doing? So I bought myself another little happy planner and this one was kind of like a journal type thing uh, to get your, your mindset on where you want to be I wasn't exactly sure if that's what I wanted but I figured it was a place to start so this is called bloom into you and you know in it there's the you got the regular calendars things like that and one thing that I wanted to do and is that I put this in here and this is kind of like a reminder. When I started my weight loss goal a few years ago, I was at my highest weight. I was 190 pounds, as you can see right there. Um, when I took this picture, I was down to about 110 pounds, the one on the end. And, you know, I should have stopped there, but I didn't. And, um, you know, I, I look at this picture now and I think, yeah, I was okay. I didn't have to go any lower. I actually went down to about 95 pounds. My size, I went to a size zero in jeans and and slacks, things like that. And they were even starting to get baggy. Did I think I that was okay? Did I think, you know, Nancy, you've done enough. You need to slow down, do maintenance, don't keep losing. Well, I think that was the start of my trouble was that I allowed myself by looking in the mirror and stepping on the scale and not seeing what I should have been seeing. Um, I was still maybe seeing me at 190 pounds when I looked in the mirror and that was all I could see. And so I think that was kind of the start. I think sometimes when you get down that low, being skinny, is not healthy. Um, you know, I was still doing a lot of exercise. I was doing my under desk elliptical while I was working at the office. I mean, I was doing 10, 15 miles a day on my under desk elliptical. I was always the last one to leave work at night. And so after everyone left, I would run around the back of the warehouse to run two miles before I went home. And when I came home, I still did like a DVD. I wasn't eating right. I was eating and losing weight because I was just so active and I was thinking that was a good thing but but it wasn't and so I think that's what kind of weakened me so that's what caused well I had the I had the stroke when I was about 190 but um, when I had my heart attack I really didn't even realize that I had, had had a heart attack I just knew that I was tired I was weak I just my blood pressure was low I just had trouble getting up and just being dizzy and whatever did I go to the doctor no I did not so anyway you know you just think it's I uh, you get over it and then after that COVID hit and I went to the office every day they people were working from home and I said hey I'm good I'll, I'll come in I'll be into the office every day so I mean I went in for a year I was there by myself uh, the only one at the office I was I was happy and, um, and then people came back to the office they said okay I think the worst of it's over people can come back and within a week of people coming back boom I got COVID and um, yeah it hit me hard 
harder than I thought, even though they told me I had a mild case, I'm still having issues from that. And I think it had to do because I wasn't at a healthy place when I got sick. And because I was overworking myself, I wasn't being healthy. And now I can't quite get into where I want to be. So that's why I decided I'm going to start taking some baby steps on my own. I'm not going to press, press myself, but I know I need to take some steps. Alrighty. So that, that said, alrighty. So in this book, and it's got like this kind of prompted journals here for each day of the week and Monday through Saturday, Monday through Sunday. So they've got a place on the top. What, what are your intentions for the day? Um, nourish so maybe what you're planning on eating what are you eating for the day what kind of movement did you do any exercise things like this and then there's just some like part at the end just for taking notes or whatever and you know I love my big planner but I didn't want to do anything extravagant in this one I just wanted to do something to still keep it fun keep it interesting maybe keep track of the hours that I'm working, what my blood pressure is. I take my oxygen every day and my temperature. I know when I get to 93 for oxygen, um, I'm not supposed to mess around. I'm supposed to call 911. Yeah. But so anyway, do things like that. And then I decided I wanted to start using my under desk elliptical. I have one at home too. And I was only doing like maybe 50 steps here, maybe 10 steps here. And it was B. I was huffing and puffing, but I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. If all I do in a day and, you know, a 10, 12 hour day while I'm sitting there at my desk for, for work, if all I get in is 20 steps, 50 steps, I'm just going to write it down and I'm just going to keep going from there and see if maybe every day I can improve that. Starting in February, I also dug out my Fitbit because I haven't worn this since I got sick. And I thought, you know, if all I'm getting in is 500 steps a day, that's cool and maybe every day I'll just push myself to maybe do if I'm 500 maybe the next day I'm going to try to do 510 and just kind of go from there so I grabbed some old kits that I had that weren't like the full kits but just bits and pieces of leftovers and so I did something like this for January and so I just kind of put the pictures in here and there and then put in the information that I wanted to put in and now when I look at it it's like there's really no rhyme or reason. It's like, it's it's just too busy. It's not giving me what I need to know or how can I see what my improvements are. So that's what I need to work on. I need to, you know, maybe still get some kits and keep it interesting, keep it pretty, uh, maybe a picture here and there, but it's really the information that I want. So I'm thinking what I want to put in here is I want to, of course, track my weight. Eventually one day I will take off the tra tape measure and maybe do that again. Um, again, I'm going to, be taking my, I take my temperature every day, what my oxygen level is, what my blood pressure is. Um, I want to um, put in the water that I'm drinking, making sure I, I check that I took my meds because yes, sometimes you forget on the weekends, um, what my elliptical steps were, what the Fitbit steps were. I also want to monitor my sleep. I know um, from taking care of Rick all those years, I slept in an office chair next to his bed because I was so afraid something was going to happen and I just needed to be there. So I was only getting a couple of hours a night sleeping in the office chair next to his bed. And so um, it took me a long time to try to get into some better sleep habits because it just, it was just hard falling asleep and just, you just think someone's calling your name when there's nobody there. So sleep is important to me. So I wanted to start monitoring my sleep a little bit better. Um, if I do any walking on this, you know, it'll be on the Fitbit so I can keep track of steps when maybe if I'm feeling start getting better, then maybe I will put the treadmill back down, try to do something on the treadmill, whether it's the same thing, starting it, maybe if all I do is 25 or I work for a minute, something like that. I just gradually, I want to be, and I need to stress that to myself, gradual, don't kill yourself do it gradually right um if i get to the point that i can start doing dvds again that would be great i used to really enjoy doing like my leslie sansone my walk aerobics dvds they were really easy to do i even had that 
and one that I really liked, the uh, walk aerobics for seniors, because there was one lady in there that was, she was always going in the opposite direction, and she looked just like my mom, and yeah, she would have been going in the opposite direction. So those are the things I think I want to track. So if you've kept a wellness journal, let me know the things that you need to put in there. Like um, I probably want to put in um, the nights that I read um, just to see if that makes a difference with my sleeping habits or if I'm into a nice um, pace of reading every day is can I see my blood pressure going down? So things like that is what I'm looking to see. What changes can I make? Little changes to make this happen for me so and then in the meantime i thought well you know i don't want to keep it busy with a whole lot of kits but i thought i would get get one just to see what i could do and i saw somebody unbox this and um so it's uh it's a kit it's a little subscription box but it's not going to be a whole lot of stickers so it's just going to be some maybe fun things to put in in there to kind of keep it interesting they've also got a layout for a different uh, planner that will fit in here that I can use to see if maybe that works a little bit better for me so anyway this is the fabulous planner and uh, this one uh, there were two different sizes there's one that's called the classic box and that one's $24.99 um, and it comes with 9 to 10 items and that there's nothing planner specific it would fit into any planner that you have this one that I got and I'm just going to check it out for a while is called the luxury box this one is $30.99 it comes to 10 to 12 items and it, the inserts that come in this would be something that would fit in to the planner that I purchased that smaller one so some things that you might get in there is what they call dashboard so it's going to be like some separators and things like that to keep yeah planner kind of interesting um, inserts this one's going to have the inserts for the month for the days of the week um, there might be journal cards in here there could be some bookmarks it could be some stickers pens washi tapes there's maybe some notepads in here uh, some stamps some page flags there could be notebook pins or anything else that just kind of keep it interesting so the box is really kind of cute so also when I got this she was also doing a sticker day or something so it was like when you bought um, the kit some a sticker kit you got some for free so I've got that in there as well and this is the insert that comes with it it tells you the different things that are in here whether you got the classic one or the uh, the deluxe one and that next month which is going to be this month it's probably going to be shipping in a few days because yeah i'm that far behind it's going to be a glam closet so that should be some fun stickers and of course i did open this just to see what it was like because it's been sitting here for over a month almost a month now so anyway it comes like this it did have this sticker here that said thank you Alrighty, so when i should have taken this stuff out of the plastic so let me take everything out of the plastic just so we can kind of go through this a little bit faster Alrighty, so I got everything opened up. That way you don't have to listen to all the crinkling that was going on. Um, yeah, so we're just going to go through this quick because I don't want to take a lot of time for my first wellness Wednesday doing back. So I'll probably show you the items that are in here. And then when I end up doing another wellness Wednesday, I'll kind of incorporate the different things that I talked about that I want to put in the planner um, or the wellness journal and just kind of see from there what it looks like. I need it to be a little bit not so jumbled. I mean, I don't mind using stickers and things to make it pretty, make it interesting. But if I have to look to see what my progress is, then it's not going to be very helpful. Alrighty. So the first thing, and of course, this is the luxury planner. So it's going to give me, like if I wanted to put a new cover on the planner. So there's probably going to be a different one in there every month. It does come with a matching sticker and I am a limited edition. This is a nice laminated, um, cover so that it will last and won't rip on you it also gives you like the insert that you can put in the page as well girls can and what there and there's going to be these papers for every day of the month for feb for well i'll just say february because i already did march i've already did january so that's just what these days look like with and they've got saturday 
and Sunday together right there. So we'll see if this layout maybe works better to maybe just kind of put a picture or something all the way across and then every day have the same information in the same place and then a tally at the end of the week to see how that looks. So there's one, in, so they'd be in here for like, you know, uh, a week for and it's not dated so you can use these anytime so if I decided I wanted to stick with that one but I wanted to maybe do something different later I could always have these ready to go for another time alrighty we got these highlights these are really confusing so there's five of these highlighters right gel pens and but and I did write my name there in the purple one and then one end it says it's an eraser a highlighter eraser so I just did like kind of scribbled the ease and then in the middle I used what the highlighter is so one side is going to be the pen that you can you see I did the N on a wide side and then the rest of my name and then this is what that other side looks like so is it supposed to maybe erase what you highlighted if you made a mistake so that's good so there's six different pens that came in here so we've got this lavender we've got like a peachy say peachy say peachy shade that's hard we've got yellow and uh, like an aqua a light green and a pink so some pretty colors to work with we got this pen right here and look at this it's got a little crown I could have worn a crown today I could have put on a tiara and so I just kind of wrote up on top there the little squiggle there just to see what it looked like so it's a nice rose gold pen little pom-pom here a tiara a crown oh my goodness Alrighty, so there's this strip here that you, I suppose it says to put on a mirror so when you're looking at yourself it will say you're so golden I will probably not put that up there. Alrighty, we've got a place to put those pens. So a little pencil case right here that's zippered. We got some washi tape. I love using washi tape too. It kind of makes things interesting, adds borders. We got this little tiny cat ruler. And these come in handy when you go to rip the washi tape instead of dip, dip your scissors. You just kind of put this down on the end and flip, and you rip it off. So, little cute ruler. And then the last thing in this box is the sticker kit. And again, there's only a few stickers, so it's not like, you know, how my planner is now where I have them all over the place every month. So this is what could last for the whole month. So just a few stickers here and there upside down you know I was going to do it right and the other ones do we have in here and these come will come in good just to kind of keeping um, some information in the same place all the time and then these stickers so that was everything that was in my first fabulous planner subscription box oh you know I didn't show you the stickers they came with a boatload of these stickers here so we're just kind of going to fan these out like this so all these stickers here to use in the planner or friend mail or whatever you want so again a boatload of stickers the stickers kit to last for the month the pencil case the cute little cat ruler some washi tape that should go nice with those stickers that they sent little mirror thing to put up to remind yourself that you are golden the cute little pen with a crown the six highlighter pens and we've got a month worth worth of weekly inserts and another cover if I wanted to change out my cover every now and then just to kind of keep it interesting and then I hope this isn't running too long but these are and I'm just going to go over these real quick I'm not going to take them all out the stickers because she was having a sale at the same time that I ordered that subscription that when you bought a leftover sticker kit you bought one you get another one for free 
So that's a nice way to get some things. And it just tells you a little bit about the sticker, the monthly subscription here. And if you wanted to get this for yourself, if you went on the fabulousplanner.com website, you can use the code box 20 to get 20% off your first month. So that's pretty cool. Alrighty. So I'm not going to take these out of the plastic, but this is what one kit will look like. It's got blue and some dresses and some stickers on there. This is like a sweater weather one. So bundled up for being cold. And then that. And then this one. And some more stickers on this side. And of course, if I saw one for friends, you knew I had to get one of those, right? So we've got friends right there. And how you doing? Alrighty. And then this is the last one that I got. It's a little Alice in Wonderland theme. Alrighty. So that is everything that I got to start working on a wellness journal. It's long overdue. I never should have waited this long to force myself to do little steps to get back in shape. And so I'm glad you guys are here. Sorry this ran into some extra time, but I am so glad you're here to join me. I'm looking forward to your comments on different things that you use to kind of keep yourself mindset going. And um, yeah, so we will see you guys on another Wellness Wednesday. We'll see what these look like when I put them all together. And thank you guys so much for stopping in. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. And we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.